There are a ton of people that are so mad at SiteGround, and I think it's for a fair reason. I'm using the Wayback Machine at archive.org to look at older versions of their pricing page. So in 2020, they had a price increase. This is what it costs before that price increase. You can see right here, their cheapest plan was $3.95 and then it went up to $11.95. Now those are promotional pricing. And here's what the regular price was, $34.95, all the way down to $11.95 per month for a single website. And last year they raised the price and it is now $14.99 up to $39.99. This is the non-promotional price. These initial prices here are the discounted promotional prices when you first sign up. Now keep in mind, this plan here the Grow Big was for unlimited websites, and the Go Geek right here was also for unlimited websites. Then all of that changed in April of 2021. You can see they didn't increase the cost of their plans, they just reduced the amount of websites. So the Grow Big was unlimited, now it's limited to two websites. Along with the Go Geek plan, same price as well, but now it's limited to five websites. Now all these changes really have ticked off a lot of their existing customers, and I'm kind of saddened by it as well, because they did this in the midst of the quality of their service decreasing and that wasn't really their fault that was a global pandemic going on and you suddenly now have three or four times as many people getting websites and building websites because that's exactly what happened in 2020 when that happened and it hurt their support response time the support quality the ease of access of support and i think as well as the speed of the service however they fully recovered from all of that and to siteground's credit you should take a look at their blog and it will tell you all these new things that they're adding i mean they are adding some stuff that you're not getting with other web hosting providers and it's all about speed so here's something as recent as a week ago optimize the RAM utilization of MySQL and there's just feature after feature their caching plugin improvements you just got to read through this the speed of PHP all this like techie acronyms and all of that they have been kicking butt and taking names as it relates to making their service better and faster and higher quality that's called going up market so SiteGround when you if you're a customer got SiteGround service you thought it was an affordable hosting plan and it pretty much was, but they've gone up market. They've decided to add more features, more functionality, more performance, but also with a significant price increase. And so a lot of people are upset and they're looking for new homes and that's totally justifiable. So now that SiteGround has gone up market and they're providing a higher quality of service and a higher performance than they've offered before, you have a decision to make. Do you stick with them? Are you happy with them? Do the new plan limitations of left's websites affect you? And if the answer to that question is yes, it does affect you, you might want to look at a new home. However, if you're happy with the service, by all means, stick around and stick with SiteGround. So I wanted to show you a couple SiteGround alternatives. So SiteGround's now like middle market. So there's some options below it and there's some options of higher performance at actually less of a cost as well so let's go over those three options in this video now if you're totally on a budget and you need the lowest hosting lowest cost hosting possible yet still have it be decent in power and performance you might want to consider Hostinger right here. I do have a link and a discount code in the video description box if it interests you. Now this is your lowest cost provider. The benefits of Hostinger though is it's built on a technology called Lightspeed and with that means a free caching technology. I'll put a link to a video that I made a few months back where I went through taking this free 
performance plugin, installing it on your website and increasing their, your website performance with it. And it's included for free. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pricing. Now they're always having promotions. So they have normal shared hosting pricing and WordPress hosting, and they're actually separate services. Unlike SiteGround, it's actually the same thing. Here, they're different. Your shared hosting is going to be the cheapest of the cheap. I mean, it is so inexpensive. Look at this. A single website, 99 cents. Now, that's 99 cents if you choose multi pay, to pay multiple years up front. Uh, and it's still pretty cheap here, $2.399. But like I said, that pricing is for when you're paying for multiple years. Years. However, if I was to use their service and I don't, I would go for their WordPress hosting right here. It's going to cost you a little bit more. And you can see that single site that was 99. Now it's 199. So you might want to choose this. If I had to choose the cheapest web hosting that I could find, I would use this and I would use the WordPress service right here that you see the WordPress based hosting. However, I don't use Hostinger. It's kind of like your real, really your starter hosting. And I wouldn't start there unless you were on the tightest of budgets. The next step up would be Name Hero. And Name Hero, from a performance standpoint, is very similar to what you were getting out of SiteGround. Now with Name Hero, it's using cPanel, and you might be familiar with that if you've had a web hosting account before. And it's also based on Lightspeed, which gives you access to Lightspeed Cache, which is the free caching plugin that's gonna save you some money. Now, their pricing is really good. If you use the link in the video description, it says right here, you're gonna get up to 70% off. So it's down there in the video description as well. And you can see their pricing is a little bit higher, but it's totally worth it. So the plus cloud plan right here, seven websites, unlimited websites right here, and you're going to be paying around seven bucks or so. And this is also a multi-year discount, two, three years or whatever. Now keep in mind though, the regular price of the plan you can see right here is $19.95, but that's still half of what SiteGround's top plan is. And this is going to get you unlimited websites. And they're very transparent here about the the resources that you're going to get. So if it was me and I wanted shared hosting where there's email and everything, the closest thing possible to SiteGround, I would go with Name Hero and I would probably fork out the extra cash for the Turbo Cloud. But if you're on a budget, I would start with the starter and later upgrade if your needs changed. The quality of their service is really good. They also have live chat support. I've tested their live chat support and it's fantastic. And I do have web hosting with Name Hero and I have websites there. Uh, it's a great service. Now, if you wanted to get even greater performance gains, yet have dedicated resources and yet still have it be less expensive than SiteGround, another side benefit of this, this service right here with Cloudways is it's month to month. You're not having to pay for multiple years at a time. You're just paying month to month and they also have a free trial. Now, I have a coupon code down below that I believe gets you 20 or 30% off the first two or three months. The information's down there below. Uh, Cloudways, and I've got a bunch of websites on Cloudways, and I, I can't reveal it, but I know some features that they're coming out with in 2021. And I got to say, once these come out, this is where it's at. Cloudways is, Cloudways is literally where it's going to be at when you see these features that they're releasing. This is a different type of hosting. So you get a control panel that uh, is very easy to navigate. You get a ton of specific WordPress related features that make having a website super easy. The only difference, and it's actually a huge difference, when you get a service like Cloudways, it doesn't have the email hosting included. So it's just for your website, but it's dedicated resources. Nothing's going to be able to touch the performance that you're getting on Cloudways. In fact, my product that I released a few months ago, Presto Player, that website is being hosted on Cloudways. So let's take a look at the cost of Cloudways. Now, I have a full setup tutorial video on Cloudways as well that I'll link to down below, as well as setting up email if you're going to have email elsewhere. 
I've got a tutorial for that. And I do have a tutorial for the hostinger and the name hero and setting up that uh, that uh, caching plugin. So let's take a look at the pricing here. Now, there's certain um, choices you want to make on the setup for Cloudways. You want to choose the right things. That's why I recommend watching the full setup video. Um, so I think I might be logged in. Let's see if I go to uh, sign up for free actually here. Let me go to the pricing. Um, so right here is our pricing. Now they are allowing you to get dedicated resources from a variety of providers. Now, when I scroll down here, here are the different providers. This is who I recommend today. Uh, choose a vulture and then right here where it says high frequency choose that and you're in for a lightning fast hosting experience yeah I, i'll if you click on the link to the setup video just read what people are saying after they switch the performance boost that they had it's quite impressive so uh, but i knew it was because this this setup here is just so fast. There's nothing really close to it. Uh, so you can start at the 13 a month or the 26 a month. So even at the $26 a month, it's still a lot less expensive than the higher plan that you're getting from SiteGround. And it's just a few dollars more than the highest plan on Name Hero, except you get to play month by month. You're not having to put some big chunk of change out there. You can have you get to have dedicated resources. It's easy to migrate your websites in. Uh, and this is great for online course websites, e-commerce websites and all of that. It's just so fast. Now, obviously, there's lots of web hosting providers to choose from and there's more providers out there. These are hosting companies that have a really good reputation. And what I wanted to do was present to you some options for different price points. If it was me, everyone would start on Cloudways because I know you're going to get the performance and a lot of those problems that you have, a slow back-end WordPress experience or maybe a slow on the front end, you're just not going to have those as long as you follow the setup guide and you make the right choices. You're just not going to have that and that frustration is completely gone and wiped away. Uh, I just wanted to show those if you're in a situation, though, where you need to choose some alternative to SiteGround. So I'll have the links to those setup videos in the video description. There's also links to get discounts to any of these hosts if you wanted to switch. Uh, so uh, anyways, I hope it works out well for you if you do end up switching or just consider staying. SiteGround's still a fantastic company. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.